Hello, welcome to today's Times Crossword Masterclass. Simon has left me in charge and I'm going to warn you about a couple of distractions. One is my throat, which has got better a bit but turned into a bit of a cough. The other is the scaffolders who occasionally make an incredible clanging sound outside. But let's hope, let's hope we get through this puzzle a little unaffected. Um, so I'm going to be having a go at today's Times Cryptic. The Times crossword is an icon of British life, of course, and hopefully if I explain what I'm thinking and how I'm solving the clues, you will learn a bit. So let's crack on. Let's get cracking. Okay, first one across. 6-6. Six, six. Military drilling site suggested by a padre. Right, there's two ways of getting that then. Um, and it's a kind of reverse wordplay. So if you can think of a military drilling site... Um, I think they're sometimes called squares, which is six letters. But parade ground was the first thing I thought of. Why would that be suggested by a padre? Well, that is because ground has two very separate meanings. One is the ground, as in a parade ground. The other is uh, the past tense of to grind. If something is ground down, it's been really messed around with, fragmented. And if we therefore anagram the letters of a padre, we can get parade. So that is what is going on there. It's, it's as if the answer is the word play to a padre. It's parade ground up. So that's a good start. We get lots of first letters going down. One down, reportedly charge thieves in capital city. Um, Paris is a capital city beginning with P, but I rather think reportedly suggests a homophone. So, yeah, okay. So thieves can be a noun or a verb. Yeah, we're looking at reportedly as a homophone suggests that we're looking for a short word meaning charge and then a word meaning thieves. And when we put the sound of those two together, it's going to be a capital city. Now, the capital we're looking for is not a world capital this time. It's a state capital because a charge can be a fee and to thieve can be to nick. So fee nicks becomes the capital of Arizona. And that's the answer. An unusual word to get in a crossword. Two down. Fast breeder, maybe. Crunched carrot, conserving energy. Well, crunched. Crunched is looking to me like another potential anagram indicator. And carrot has six letters. Energy can be abbreviated to the letter E in physics. So we're looking for an anagram of carrot with an E in it. And a fast breeder is not a rabbit in this clue, but a nuclear plant fast breeder reactor, which is nice. Um, if fast breeder wasn't such a familiar phrase, that would be nice misdirection. Um, and if you read the whole clue first, you might be distracted to think about rabbits, but I wasn't much. Now, three down. Canine Charlie and Henry avoid when old man's about. No, that's a very bad way of reading the clue. Canine, Charlie and Henry avoid when old man's about. Um, I don't know what's going on with this. Maybe we are looking for a caber, uh, canine, a dog, that would fit this, like Doberman or Dalmatian or Dachshund. Yes, Dachshund, that's good, because Charlie can be the letter C, that's in the phonetic alphabet. Henry can be the letter H, that's in physics, it's a unit. Shun can mean avoid, and old man is slang for father, so that can be dad. So we're putting CH and shun into dad, and we are getting Dachshund, the old sausage dog. Right, four down, shocked expressions where parrot appears in G and S. I mean, again, this isn't very cryptic. G and S, the clue surface is meant to suggest that's Gilbert and Sullivan. I don't think there's a parrot in any of their works, so there would be shocked expressions. However, um, in this clue, it's obviously just going to be the letters G and S. We've got to put some word meaning parrot in between G and S to get shocked expressions. Now, there are a few shocked expressions beginning with a G, like gasps and gawps and gawks. But I think here, parrot, rather amusingly, 
is cluing a totally different animal in a way, not because of the meaning of parrot as a bird, but because to parrot can be to copy, and that can also be to ape. So I don't know why both apes and parrots have reputations for mimicking things. I suppose I do know why parrots do pieces of eight and so on. But um, anyway, there we go. Gapes are shocked expressions. Five down, cow having crossed Scottish lock. Well, crossed would normally mean passing across something, so surrounding it. But I don't actually know what is going on here. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, it doesn't mean that here. Wow, this is quite tough. So I was thinking ox or oxen for cow, but that's not appropriate either. Cow, just like parrot in the last clue, can be a verb meaning something that is not an animal. So cow can mean that too. It can mean to intimidate. Now, how does that apply here? Can we think of a synonym for intimidate that begins with an O? Well, luckily I was able to think of one, and that is overawe. Now, how is that relevant to the wordplay? Well, if, you've, if you're having crossed a bridge, you're over it. So actually, that's what those words are doing in the clue. That leaves Scottish lock to be or, A-W-E, and there is a lock or. Um, I have visited it when I was a child with my parents on holiday in Scotland. Um, why I've remembered the name, I don't particularly know, but it does exist. I think that's quite obscure. Especially if you're not, I was going to say, especially if you're not British, but I think if you're not Scottish, that's quite obscure. Right, six down, Emperor. Oh, we've got an M, surely Nero. Emperor snatching victory, Uncle Sam perturbed. Yeah, okay, that's quite amusing. Um, so it is Nero, V for victory. So we've got Nervo, if we've put the V in the right place. That leaves us with US if we're going to make nervous, which can mean perturbed. And I was looking at Uncle Sam and going, but it hasn't mentioned that I need its initials. And I've only just realised that Uncle Sam, which of course is a slang term for the USA, and therefore can mean US, carries those initials. Is that deliberate? Was Uncle Sam coined? Because US also stands for United States? I don't know. Never considered that. Let's have a look at eight across. Cleb, maybe, lurking inside shot pedestrian. How's your knowledge of Bond films from 50 years ago? Rosa Cleb is the villain in, well, a villain in, whoa, I'm going to say Doctor No, but it could be a different movie, and I'm sorry if that's wrong. Um, so Rosa we're getting here. Cleb, maybe, lurking inside shot pedestrian. I mean, I don't e I mean, it, if we put Rosa into anything and end it with a C, it's got to be prosaic, which, <coughs> which can mean pedestrian in the sense of not very inspiring. Um, so the shot here is a pic, because a, a snapshot or a photo can be a pic. Um, and that's what we get. I'm just wondering about the surface of that clue. What on earth? Oh, I see. It means Rosa Cleb, maybe, lurking inside somewhere, shot a pedestrian. Took me a while to even understand how to read that. Right, let's carry on. Nine across. Sad-eyed clown wants mole to perish. Well, this is about the fifth example of a word that apparently means an animal, but translates in the crossword to something that is not an animal. I'm looking at mole here. Now, from the letters in the grid and the definition of sad-eyed clown, you may be able to get Piero, who is, I believe, a sad-eyed clown in Harlequin Aids and so on. But why is that mole to perish? Um, we can ignore once, I think, which is just a link word. Well, a mole is another word for a peer or a key um, on a, beside, a, beside the sea or beside a river. And to perish is to rot, so you get peer rot, and that gives you piero. Um, Eleven across, soothing medicine was our common bond, it said. Well, the letters in the grid have given that to me with that definition, which is soothing medicine. 
Um, and it's another rather nice homophone. We had Fee Nix at One Down, which basically ends up with very few letters in the grid that actually were in the um, phrase being homophoned. And here again, linked us is the translation of was our common bond. And when you listen to that, it sounds like linctus, which is a, a cough medicine, exactly what I need at the moment. And a little drink will have to do. Um, right, we'll move on. 12 across. Split one's hole briefly seen in chair. Well, given the letters in this grid, I'm thinking seat for chair. We're always looking for short synonyms, and that looks like it fits very well. Now, I don't know what the answer is yet, but if we... We want to put one hole briefly into seat to mean split. I don't know what that is, actually. One hole briefly. I don't know. I might, I might even be on the wrong track with the word play, but I'm going to pass on that and come back to it. Let's have a look at 13 across. One likely to whine, produce howl or jabber. <coughs> well, jabber. I'm not taking that to mean the verbal meaning of talking a lot. I'm going to take it to mean someone who does jabs, and boxer would fit this answer. So why would that be one likely to whine or produce howl? Because a boxer is a, another type of dog. It's getting into the grid along with its friend the Dachshund. Um, produce howl is a bit odd there. One likely to whine or jabber would potentially be enough clue for me, but maybe dogs, maybe it's not enough to define a dog that it might whine. If it might whine or howl, then it kind of, <coughs> it's tending much more to become a dog. Right, Ravel in US, performing for all to see. Um, I think we're looking at an anagram here. Ravel in US has nine letters. And that's going to fit very well with the U, E, and S in a nine-letter word here. For all to see, what is the um, movie rating for all to see? It is U for universal. So that's the answer there. Okay, now there's a couple of long downs. Oh, what could fit in here? Spellbind or Apple something. Right. Mesmerizing, mes, sorry, mesmerizing term used on book cover. Well, that is spellbinding. And a term is a spell, and book cover is binding, and that's quite straightforward with thanks to the letters in the grid. So they're always very helpful. Right, 10 down. Drink, then another. Smacks supplied with ecstasy for complete blackout. Um, right. I didn't really know where this was going until the definition came at the end of the clue this time. A complete blackout is a total eclipse, so I think that's what we're going for. Ah, oh, we've got a tot and then ale, so that's the first two drinks. Smack is clip. If you clip someone around the ear, you smack them. And clips plus E for ecstasy in the sense of the drug. And there we go. Now, I'd better go back to 12 across. Seat is looking ever more likely. One hole, briefly. Well, well done if you've got this. What, what is this word meaning split? Oh, splits one. That's the definition. Split is an example of this. And split in Croatia is a seaport. So the hole is a pore, a hole in your skin, P-O-R-E. That is seen briefly. We don't get the last letter. And we put that in the seat. Okay, for me, by far, the hardest clue in the top half of this grid. Let's move on to 16 across. Begins with an N. Sort, loath to engage with characters in book. Sort can often be an anagram indicator, as in sort these letters out. But there, I don't know what's happening. So, 
Given that a lot of the clues in this puzzle have been fairly straightforward and I can't see what's happening here, I'm just going to move on. 19 across. Royal killer snake one caught in savoury jelly. Well, everything in that clue is shouting aspic at me. So Cleopatra um, committed suicide by having herself um, bitten by an asp, which is therefore what I immediately think of if I see royal killer snake. One can be I, caught from cricket can be C, and savoury jelly is aspic. So for me, a very easy clue because I've seen asps and aspic in crosswords a lot. 21 across. Begin, perhaps, denying lead to British PM twice. Ah, OK. Well, I've read that wrong for you, which is kind of a hint. Um, Begin. There was a famous Israeli prime minister, if you're my age, called Menachem Begin. And I'm thinking, therefore, that Israeli is possible here. I'm a bit confused by the clue, because I think it's referring to Disraeli. And I understand that we are denying him a lead, Disraeli. We take off the D and we get Israeli. And it defines begin, perhaps. It's the twice that's throwing me there. Why is that denying the lead to a British PM twice? It's surely not considering the apostrophe in Disraeli, if it has one. I don't know. I'm confused by that. I'm sure it's the right answer. I don't know why twice is in the clue. <laughs> Let's try 30, 23 across. Warrior adds iodine to a drink when heading west. Well, seven-letter warrior ending in I. Hats off if you immediately thought of the seven samurai. Um, but I think that could be relevant. Iodine is I in the periodic table. And a rum as is what precedes that if you look at the letters as heading west, i.e. written backwards in an across clue. So a rum as is reversed, and that gets you samurai. The, one, the iodine is an I, and there is samurai. 24 across. In sylvan retreat, you get seductive look. While well, sylvan means um, a wood or a forest. Um, so beginning with... I mean, there are various retreats in a wood or a forest. They might be dells or glades or uh, clearings, but Glade is the one that begins with G. So Glade, a seductive look we're looking for, glad eye. I don't know if you know that phrase, but if you give someone the glad eye, it's either a look of approval or a come on, i.e. a seductive look. So ye is providing you there. It's Glade ye, and that's giving us the glad eye. 25 across. Blues on the Clyde winter ultimately aggravates. Blues on the Clyde. Well, the Clyde is in Glasgow or Scotland, but the blues in Glasgow are rangers, which would fit quite nicely here. Winter ultimately is the letter R and aggravates is angers. So... <laughs> We had to have the knowledge of a Scottish loch earlier. Now we know, have to know Scottish football. Um, and Glasgow, well, Scotland's two most famous club football teams are Rangers and Celtic, who both play in Glasgow. I was just having this de discussion with my son lately about how strange it was that the two biggest clubs in Scotland both come from the same city rather than the two competing largest cities. But that is the way it works. And... Rangers wear blue, Celtic wear green and white hoops, and Rangers is the answer there. So now let's try and pick off these downs. 15, let's take them in order, in fact. 15 down. Concerning help that's available if needed. Um, concerning help that's available if needed. So this is a phrase that means on hand or... Hmm, okay, I don't know the answer. Help that's available if needed. Aid would often be help, but doesn't seem to fit in the clue. 
No, I'm not going to attempt that any further. Let's try 17 down. Spiritual liberation, Irish sea, taken in by simpleton. Um, I might not have been able to think of... I mean, spiritual liberation is not how I'd have defined this word, but the letters in the grid have suggested the word nirvana to me once we're thinking about spiritual things. And that works quite nicely. Irish can be abbreviated to IR, and C in a dictionary, uh, no, in a, in a kind of reference work, will sometimes be V for the Latin V day. So we put I R V in what is nana, and that can be a simpleton, as in you're a complete nana, which I think comes from banana originally. I might be wrong about that. 18 down. Interpreter, for example, needed in late summer abroad. This is a bit of an esoteric word. Um, interpret doesn't have many synonyms and interpreter, but uh, exegesis is interpretation, and therefore an exegete is an interpreter, which is a very unusual word, I would say, although it's also very unusual in having an E in every other place within it. There aren't that many that do that either. But how does the wordplay work? Well, for example, that's not actually providing the X. That's providing EG, exempli gratia, the um, example abbreviation. And that is going to be put in late or former or X, and then ete, the French for summer, i.e. summer abroad. And exegete is the yeah, slightly obscure answer there. 19 across, country stadiums separately accommodating 1,001. Um, that's quite hard unless you've got these letters in the grid and can immediately think of a country that fits. And Armenia fits the bill very neatly there. So the stadium, I think, is an arena there. And it's separately accommodating the Roman numerals for 1,001. It's putting M and I in, but not together. It's putting them in separately. And we get Armenia. 20 down, shelter taken after river beginning to rise, bad sign. Um, an omen is a bad sign, and that has a definition, I mean, a synonym of portent. So I think that's probably the answer, because that will fit here. Tent will be the shelter. Oh, we've got one of those crossword classics. River is Po. There is a River Po in Italy. Um, and when I first used to do crosswords, you'd see River in a clue, and it might be the letter R, but for some reason it was far more likely to be one of various tiny name rivers that exist in the world, like Po or Don or Ure. And you don't often see the Po clued as a river these days, but there it is. Um, and beginning to rise was the letter R in that. Um, oh no, there's one more down to do. So 22 down. Roman date, that looks like Ides to me, involving Proba's final, that must be the letter A, thoughts, ideas. That's relatively straightforward. Who is Proba? I have no idea. If Proba is a famous Roman, I am very surprised. And I would have thought you could have come up with Casca, who actually stabbed Caesar on the Ides of March. Or Cinna. Or various other Romans who end with a Proba. Maybe he's more famous than I realise, he or she. Right, 26 across. Player one among royals we backed, found outside. So we're probably looking for a position in a sport here. Player one among royals we backed. Tsars? No. Okay, I don't know the answer to that. We've got three left. I've tried them all. We have to go back to them now. Sort loath to engage with characters in book. Is it a non something? A non. I'm beginning to wonder if I've got something wrong that's leading to this. 
I don't think so. Right. Sought, loathe to engage with characters in book. A non-reader. It's just a cryptic definition. Someone who doesn't want to look at the characters, i.e. the written down characters in a book, rather than the people. I mean, that's very hard. I didn't expect a cryptic definition from that clue. I didn't know non-reader had was one word with no hyphen. I didn't know it was a, a word at all, let alone with no hyphen. And that's very difficult, but I think that's right. 15 down. So available if needed, in reserve. That's okay. And in re is concerning and to help is to serve. That's fair enough. I was just being poor when we looked at that before. Now, what do we get here? What word would fit in there? Stuart. James Stuart. Player. J Jimmy Stuart was an actor. So that is possible. And the royals, are they the Stuarts? Or is it... Are we looking at the kings? No, what's going on? Oh, okay. One among royals. I think it is James Stewart. Is James one among royals? It is. That's a weird bit of, bit of wordplay. And then we is backed to become EW. And that's going into the word start. And to found something is to start it. So there's the answer. I would be astonished if when we submit this, it doesn't confirm it's correct. I'm going to try it now. And there we go. No total errors. Uh, that, that is, by the time standards, not really a normal Friday puzzle. That is easier than usual. And we will see that, I now predict, as we have a look at some of the times. And look at that. Verlaine has done this in five and a half minutes. Um, a very good time. Let's look at the top 100 just to see how they're going. Well, there's not a lot of other names I recognise in the top few. I mean, the, the, the two quickest there are people who solve on paper and then enter the answer for some reason. Misty Gris is, is genuine at 7.24, that's definite. Okay, I mean, there's no proof yet that that's one of the easier puzzles, but, and I mean, there are some difficult words in it, like exegete and non-reader, and indeed James Stewart, I think. And seaport was hard, but quite a lot of the other answers were would have been fairly quick write-ins for me. Um, um, yeah, no, I'm still a bit baffled by Begin, perhaps, denying lead to British PM twice. That really implies that you take off two letters from the beginning of the British PM, but the British PM here has to be Disraeli. And I, I can't see what twice is doing in that clue. Very interesting. Maybe, maybe there is an apostrophe in Disraeli, and maybe that's being removed as well as the D. That's all I can offer. Thank you for watching. I hope that was uh, helpful for you in your cryptic crossword solving journey. Um, and we'll be back with another one of these next week. And uh, we'll be back more Sudoku, of course, later in the day. Thank you for watching. See you again soon. Bye for now.